Adjusting layouts. There are many different ways to adjust and modify layouts in InDesign. I would like to talk about some of the ones that you'll use most often. The first thing that you'll probably want to do is add pages to your document. In the previous videos for this lecture, we talked about adding a page via the Pages panel, but that's not the only way that you can add a page. So you can use a layout menu and choose Pages and then Add Page, or even Insert Pages. And the key difference between this is adding one page immediately after the page that you're currently working on, the same way that the New Page button on the Pages panel works. And then you can choose Pages and then Insert Pages if you would like to insert multiple pages, or if you want to choose where the pages go. So you can still insert one page, but you have more control about where it lands without having to navigate to the page right before where you want it to go. You can also hit the new page icon on the pages panel, which we covered in the previous video, and use the options file menu on the pages panel to insert pages. But options one and two are the same exact options for three and four. You're just clicking it from a different place in InDesign. If your cursor is closer to the Pages panel, use those two options over there. If your cursor is closer to the Layout menu, use the two options up there near that menu. You can also change the orientation of your page, and there's four options. And I would like to point out that they do different things. And so the first is to choose File and Document Setup. The Document Setup dialog box will let you fix mistakes that you made when you created your document. So if you created the document the wrong size and you're like, oh man, it was supposed to be 8 by 10, but I accidentally created it to be 8.5 by 11, that's where you would change the size of the page. You can also say, oh, I was supposed to make this as a landscape orientation book, but I accidentally made it as portrait, and I want all the pages to change. I want the book to be a landscape book, and I want everything to update. And you'll do that via the file document setup dialog box. If there is a specific instance of something that needs to change, so within the book or the project that you're working on, one page or a few pages need to be rotated for whatever reason, and you want it to be part of the final output, you could use the Edit Page Size button at the bottom of the Pages panel, and you can change the size of the page from, let's say, 8 by 10 to 10 by 8, if that still works for your production. The last options are to rotate just how you're looking at it in InDesign and not how the book will be constructed. So you're making a portrait orientation book, but you want to rotate the way that you're seeing the page or the spread so that you can edit the page so it's easier for you to edit, but you still want it to rotate back to being in portrait orientation before you make your book. And you can do that by using the Pages panel, hitting the Option File Out menu, going down to Attributes, and then choosing Rotate Spread View. We covered that in the last video. In addition, you can always right-click a page and choose Rotate Spread View instead of having to navigate through all the menus in the Fly Out menu. You can delete pages, uh, a page or pages by selecting one or more pages on the Pages panel and then hitting the trash can in the bottom right-hand corner. You can also navigate to and from pages in a number of different ways. In the previous video for this lesson, uh, we double clicked on the Pages panel. I think that's the easiest way to navigate to and from pages. But if you're on page one and you have to go to page 400, scrolling all the way down your Pages panel might take a little bit of time. And so there's more options. So you can click and drag on your Pages panel to reposition the pages. So if you're on page two and you're like, that really should be page one, you can click and drag to reposition them. And if you were on page two, you drag it to page one, you will now be on page one. You can double click to navigate pages, which we've already covered. You can also use the layout menu. So you can go to the layout menu and then choose navigation options. And you can choose what page you'd like to go to and type in 42 if that's the page you want to go to. The last option, I think the best option if you want to navigate very quickly to a very specific page without having to scroll on your pages panel, is in the bottom left hand corner of your workspace. Um, it will tell you what page you're on. In my example here, we're on page 5. If you wanted to go to page 45, you could type in 4 or 5 and hit return. You can also use the arrows on either side of that drop down and you can navigate through the pages so you can go from page 5 to 6 to 7 to 8 and then from page 8 to 7 to 6 to 5 depending on which arrow you choose. And if you choose the outside arrows it will take you to the last page in the document or the first page in the document.